somewhere uh, different today. Uh, Coombe Sillin. There's a magnificent uh, rock crag uh, up there. in focus but uh, I was just going to go up to the lake beneath there I'm just going to go up to the comparatively short walk to, to look at the lake and the, and the crag but it's very very tempting to walk up the uh, the ridge that goes around the, the coom I'm parked here in a small parking area at the end of this tarmac lane and back there just well just basically a mile is thick mist and uh, but here it's beautiful and uh, I've got this whole place to myself it is an out of the way area of course that's the crag I want to uh, see Maybe about a half a mile or so into this walk. It's a very great. There's many groves down there, a small small town or a large village, and uh, that's the uh, the valley going up to Arithi, and uh, this track has a gradual ascent, and it goes off to the lake. Less than a mile into the walk, and uh, and that's Minard Mau over there, which I climbed not long ago from this side. And there's a, a patch of mist, and hopefully it won't creep around any further. And there's that uh, crag; it's getting closer. Now the lake is at the end of this track. But what I'll do, I'll, I'll go up that, uh, just part of the way up that, part of the way up that uh, side of the coom there, on that ridge. This isn't an actual right away. I had to negotiate a couple of gates there. There should be a very faint uh, walker's footpath going up there. I've just come a few yards up this path that follows this uh, wire fence and I've got the first sighting of uh, uh, Lin Kum Silin. Uh, there's two little lakes there. It's a really, really excellent mountain scenery, and uh, now I'm out of the mist, which is over just well, just a mile over there. <laughs> Thick mist, which you know, it's the sun's hot, and actually you start to feel somewhat overheated. But uh, I'll go. A I'll just go a little, little bit further. I won't. I won't go up to the top. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> yeah. It's early evening. I won't have enough time. Some kind person has put a footpath sign on this fence post. Uh, yeah. Now, I'll just go just just up a couple of hundred feet and then go off to the left to uh, look down into the lake. And then, uh, as I say, the days when I could bound up there and get to the top in less than an hour, a long gun. Starting to gain a bit of height. There's, I you can see the fence down there. I came along and there's the, the lake. And uh, it's starting to become a bit more defined now as a, a climbing footpath. Uh, so obviously, <laughs> 
walkers do come along here. I think it's uh, this is the end of the the one end of the Nantle Ridge, the famous Nantle Ridge, and uh, this would be probably they would ascend from the Rid Rid the end, and uh, it's a well and come down here, but it's a it's a pretty uh, good undertaking. Uh, it's one of the best ridge walks, of course, next to the Snowdon Horseshoe in in Wales. There's the mountain lakes, right underneath that imposing buttress, Creek Coomsillin buttress. Now how far up do I go? You can see how well defined this path as it goes round there, I believe it's called a cirque, a French term for a mountain encircles a lake. This may be as far as I go. Uh, it's very, very uh, tempting to carry on up to that summit there, right there. It's not actually a summit, it's just an, an, an end point on the ridge. And, uh, but it goes directly over the big buttress there. Now that buttress, I climbed up the ordinary route back in the 1960s with my brother Cliff and uh, we did alternate leading. It's only a diff, it's not, well, uh, it might be impossible for me now, but uh, back then it was a straightforward climb. the time being I'm carrying on. It's uh, just a little patch of cloud which is uh, nice uh, because it is warm work. Well, I guess this is actually turning into something of a mountain walk because it's such great conditions. It'd be a shame to turn back before I reach getting to the Maybe up there. It really isn't that far away now. Uh, the, it's, uh, the slope's easy enough a bit. I've done most of the climbing and that's the summit of uh, the, the Sillin, Craig Sillin Mountain. Over there I think if I can pick it up, not sure if I can focus in. This is an excellent path. Goes round the edge of this cirque, as I call it, with that excellent uh, rock buttress there and, and the mountain lakes below. There's a, there's a better view of the central buttress of Craig Sillin, right there. All the work has been done now for as far as the uphill. There's that, uh, well, excellent buttress really. But of course these days, rock climbing, I think, as uh, isn't as popular as it was back when, in my day, back in the 1960s, when there would be, well certainly on a weekend, there'd be several climbing part partners on that, on that uh, crag there. Now, uh, how far do I go along here? It's uh, well, I'll have to, it's about uh, 5.30 in the afternoon. Although I'm not on a public right of way, the farmer has put a stile over that stone wall because he knows walkers doing the Nantle Ridge come along here. Now the summit of Craig Coombe Sillen is less than a mile away and there's a gradual ascent 
So really half an hour, I, I should be there. And there's that, uh, uh, well that's closer. That's, that's the, uh, kind of like uh, looking over the lake, a kind of uh, ridge outcrop. But this is easy walking to the summit, so now I've come this far, I might as well carry on. There's that rock out, rock outcrop overlooking uh, the, the lakes, and that's where I've just come from down along there. Now that's a, I thought this was a summit can, but it's a false summit. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've got to go up there somewhere through those boulders. Another false summit right here. That's the actual summit along there. Maybe a quarter mile further on. Over there is more Hebog. <laughs> Success. Here's the summit shelter. And uh, the top of it's about 2,350 feet above sea level. And there's the Nantal Ridge. There. It's uh, an excellent ridge walk, and of course, the, the problem with this ridge walk is that you can see how far you have to descend. Uh, yeah, before you start descending up again, so it's, it's a quite a strenuous walk. Oh, okay, and there's over there is the Snowden Range. I can't quite focus in on it because uh, the reflection. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so I did an actual mountain walk. I didn't intend to. I didn't intend to do a walk. And because I didn't bring the supplies with me, so uh, running running low on on water. But uh, I should be all right. Okay, I'm back to the first false summit. There, and there's the second fall summit. And these uh, kind of structures that have been deliberately placed here. I'll go along to that little rock outcrop there and look down into the uh, coom. The first fall summit up there, and I'm on the rocky outcrop here. And there we go, we're looking straight down into uh, the, the mountain lakes. You know, first class. Yeah, first class scenery really. It's a bit misty unfortunately because uh, there's sea fog around. There's the Hillin Peninsula and the Irish Sea. And uh, I'll go across to that wall now and then go down the Cirque uh, as I call it and uh, all the way back down to the car. I think I can see a little reflection right down there. That's probably my car. The rocky outcrop. And, um, well, I'm above those uh, very large buttresses now, uh, which go off, fall back down to the lake. But um, this is easy walking along this moorland now. So it should be no problem, really. It's a descent now all the way back to the car. Much easier descending. There's the lakes, and there's uh, Craig. Uh, huh, well, uh, the buttress, the big buttress. Yeah. The Cirque, the mountain lakes. Okay, uh, I'm back down to, to the to the fence. It's a very easy walk in now back to the car. There's the footpath sign. But look over there, that's that's a cold sea fog. Uh, where I live, it's been uh, probably like that. Cold sea fog uh, conditions all day. I'm back on this track that leads to the lake 
and really I shouldn't have gone up I had to climb over two gates there uh, but there is a I notice there's a stile over the wall about a hundred yards further along the track so huh, for future reference okay I can see my car ahead and there's another car parked there as well <laughs> that's arrived since I came uh, oh no he's just uh, he's just pulling in uh, okay so that's the end of this walk uh, yeah, fantastic weather, but it's been like crossing a desert onto this uh, hot sunshine. But over there, there's that uh, chilly sea fog. It's only uh, it's a less, than, less than a mile away, and I'm out of that. <laughs> Unusual.